Hello, my friends. Today, I want to bring your attention to an issue that affects the following models. All of these models use this brake master cylinder. And while this brake master cylinder works well, it does not always survive long term storage. And if you had to replace this brake master cylinder from BMW, it is quite expensive. So please watch this till the end. Here we go. The front master cylinder can be inspected simply by removing this cover. Inspect and see if it's wet. This one's dry. Next, we want to look at the master cylinder itself. You see our plunger for our, our lever is here. under that boot so let's lift that boot back and take a look we're dry we're dry in there so I'm gonna massage the boot back on and um, you can see how the lever barely moves here but if I turn the handlebars it comes back See, it can only go here. It's tight. Now it's not so tight. Now it's tight. Whoop, you feel that? It was tight and then it relieved. What all this tells me? These factory brake hoses have deteriorated. bit this little chunks of rubber inside. So I'm gonna have to get a brake hose kit for this bike as well. Cause you know, it's a 92 and this is 2022. It's 30 years old. It's 30 years old running on original almost everything. So we see here Oh, it's acting sort of normal now. And then it gets, you know, each each pull is a little bit different. There again, see, hard. Bound up right there. Well, I'm going to leave it alone because there's no sense pushing any more of that crap through the system. Another thing to look at. If this master is silver... Down here, it's uh, not anodized. If it's not silver, it's anodized. If it's silver, it has not been anodized. So this one has been changed before. The early years of this master cylinder, uh, BMW did not anodize the bore. So it would wear oval. That limits your chances of success using a rebuild kit such as this one offered from Beamer Boneyard. However, if the master cylinder has been anodized, it's a later model, then you have a much higher chance of success using this rebuild kit. Because as you see, it's much less expensive than BMW's replacement master cylinder. But we're not done. Watch till the end. This one's okay for now. I'm going to put it back together. Again, we take our cover, we slip our cover in here, we 
take our screw We'll be back in there again. Let's look at the other one. How's this one look? Hmm? Well, if we look inside the master cylinder first. See all that? not just wet it's even got a little towel in it if you find that you have a non anodized master cylinder or you're not sure or you just want to have the whole assembly ready to go and not have to worry about bothering with a rebuild kit that's available too fortunately but for a limited time thank you my friends hope you've enjoyed this there'll be more soon take care Thanks, Harris.